What is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson before and today I'll be talking about Call of Duty. And also, it's been a while since I last talked about COD, so um, I got a very interesting topic for you guys. And this topic has been talked about by every single Call of Duty YouTuber out there. And it's about hashtag rip COD, which means hashtag rest in peace COD. And uh, a lot of people have talked about this last week and um, I wanted to talk about it this week because I wanted to wait a little bit. You see, I want to see everybody else's opinion, what they have to say about Activision and Call of Duty Infinity Ward. And, um, you know, I already saw their opinions and after watching all those videos, I was like, damn, they're all fucking stupid. So I was watching their videos, right? They're like fucking roasting Activision so badly. I think somebody should send an ambulance to their fucking HQ. Uh, but, um, you know, they were roasting Activision so badly. But at the end of their videos, they're like, but I'm still buying the Legacy Edition because, you know, Call of Duty 4 is coming out. Subscribe to me. Leave a like in the video. I was like. Bro, are you fucking serious? You fucking badmouth Activision so badly, but yet you're still buying the Legacy Edition? Are you serious? You see, they sound like they're on your side, right? Like, all these subscribers right now, you know, y'all hate COD right now. I'm pretty sure you do. And they sound like they're on your side, like they also hate COD. But they're still buying the Legacy Edition. And they're supporting bad conduct. You see, that's bad conduct to me. Like, how can you tell me you're going to release Call of Duty 4 with just 10 maps? That's bad conduct. That's bad business practice. But yet you all still support it with $80. Are you fucking serious? It's like taking your kid. You see, you have like a three-year-old kid. Not a three-year-old. That's way too small. I'll say like your 10-year-old kid, right? You take him to the store. You take him to the fucking gasoline station, Stripes, 7-Eleven or whatever. You take, him to, you take him to the store. That kid starts running around the store. He starts knocking off the, the merchandise off the shelves. And what do you do at the end? You give him a piece of candy. That's supporting bad conduct right there. The guy was fucking misbehaving. The little kid, he deserves a fucking spank or a hit or whatever. But yet you give him a fucking candy. You see, that's a great example right there. You support bad misconduct right there. How can you do that? But yet you bad mouth fucking Activision. You know, they're fucking sounding like they're rebellious and shit. But yet they're still buying the Legacy Edition. It don't make any sense. So, y'all gotta double check these YouTubers, man. This is why I'm dropping off Call of Duty. I really am. I'm thinking of like stop doing Call of Duty altogether because I don't want to be part of this one community with fucking clickbaits. You see, you can search off the biggest YouTubers right now uh, from the Call of Duty community and all you're going to see is fucking clickbait in their titles, clickbait thumbnails. This is what the community has turned into. It used to be giveaways. It used to be fucking, oh, this YouTuber talks smack about me. You know, it's, it used to be about, you know, competition, but now it's about the best clickbait. <laughs> it's stupid, man. Like... What the fuck is going on with this community? It's changed so much in the past six years. It really did. And it's sad. So, um, my opinion, is Call of Duty actually dead? It's really not. After y'all fucking badmouth Call of Duty so badly, it's really not. Because y'all still buying the Legacy Edition, you're still giving, you're still giving money to Activision to, to do more of this. Yes, I understand that Call of Duty 4 is a great game. I have it myself. I have a single copy myself. And no, I do not suck at the game. I can fucking go 20 and 0 right now with no problem. But, you know, you got to understand that is bad business practice. They're fucking, they're fucking uh, playing with you so badly. Y'all don't see it. All these Call of Duty YouTubers are selling out, man. And that's sad. This is why I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to stay away from the COD community. And some big YouTubers that I really want to mention right now is White Boy 7th Street and Thunder402. You see, Thunder, he fucking sounds like the fucking most badass guy out there in the COD community. Like, I give him props. I give him props. Like, he does badass commentaries. But he's still selling out. How come nobody has called him out after that? I mean, some of these subscribers are, are fucking brainwashed, to be honest. But um, I can't do nothing about it because I'm a small YouTuber. So um, I'm going to leave you guys with this. Call of Duty is not dead because y'all still buying the Legacy Edition. Y'all giving money to Activision. So Activision is going to live off those 80 bucks and still keep on doing this kind of crap. So that's what's going to happen in the next few years. Call of Duty is not dead. So that is it, guys. That's my topic of the day. Rest, rest in peace, Call is not happening. It's actually more... Uh, uh, you know, money giving COD, you know, you're giving more money to them and it's not going to die anytime soon. So, um, good luck with, you know, hating Call of Duty for the next few years. And also good luck to me 
So, because I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm going to pick up Infinity Ward. So that's it, guys. Subscribe for more if you guys want to hear more topics like this.